Welcome back to our channel. This is Laura. This is Nai. Recently, we've received many questions from our clients about if and how they can replace the inner part of the machine. So we thought it would be reasonable for us to make a video about this, a literal unboxing video. Firstly, let's take a look here. There's a sign over here, which is only written in Chinese, says warranty is not given if torn, damaged, or destroyed. So please bear it in mind, consult up first if you do feel the need or the urge to open it. If you do get our permission of opening it, then feel free to do it, otherwise your warranty may go into waste. So let's open it. Firstly, lay it like this and unscrew every seven of the screws. Then you got to see this. Next, I'm gonna guide you through the inner parts and tell you the name of each part so that you can understand it better. Right here, we have three fans, which is pretty easy to understand. And next to it is the control board and the power supply unit. Connecting it is the white cable. To the other end of the white cable connects the superstar, which is our chip. Our chip, you cannot see it because it is in between the heating tower and the hush board. So I would say the inner part is quite essential, not complex at all. So when it comes to the fans, I guess many people are either planning to add more fans to it so it can work more efficiently or replace one of the fans. To be fair, these are just normal PC fans, so technically you can get them everywhere. But we do not advise you replace them if they are still in warranty. Though some people might add another one near it, hoping to get higher working efficiency. Some of my customers told me they are suffering from low hash rate and still had no idea what went wrong after checking the settings. So which means the inner part might have gone wrong. So what you should be checking is the white cable here, which connects the control board and the hash board. There's a chance that the connection here gets loose. So just unplug it and plug it back again. And if it still didn't work, try the next one, but not the third one, because the third one is not available now. If that still didn't work, the another reason to it might be because of this part, which consists the hash board, the chips, and the head tower. The chips are between the hash board and the head tower, which cannot be seen. Be aware, they come as a whole, so do not try to split the hash board and the head tower apart. Just carefully unscrew it and our permission and then send it to us and leave the rest of the work to us. Last but not least, we strongly suggest you not do anything with it without our permission, especially with the warranty period. The video is only for when you are out of warranty or you simply think it a pain in the ass to send the whole machine back if you got any problem. Again, if you are not sure what to do, just uh, contact us.